Hello again, everybody. So, yeah, it's probably been a while since you heard this voice, and um, I apologize for not uploading. It's not that I've been busy, it's more like I've been doing other things, and I'll get to that in a moment. But as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, recordings stocked up, and previously I did a video about my uh, snake team, and it turned out to be a fail, but I have two success videos of the snake team right here. So, um, he's going to use his new snake team, and I lead off with Solid Snake, and he switches back into Rayquaza, and I go for Stealth Rocks, uh, he Megas, he goes for Outrage, it does like nothing, um, I go for Gyro Ball, and he goes for another Outrage, so uh, basically this person is a friend I have on this app called uh, Pokemon Amino, you may have seen other uh, YouTubers talk about it, Basically, that's what I've been doing this whole time. I've just been like on Amino. Uh, you can check out my posts there. I do a lot of things on there. Probably more things than I do on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me if you like it. But he predicts the switch and he goes for the ice speed, which kind of sucks. But Leaf Storm's gonna one shot him anyways. I don't think he had any bulk investment as a because I don't think that was supposed to kill him. And Hidden Power Fire just kills him like one shot. And then now he goes into Survivor. I try to heal back some health with Game Drain, but I probably should have gone for Leaf Storm because he's just gonna kill me right here. Um, now I go back into Solid Snake and he switches out. He goes into his Giratina, which is freaking scary. And uh, he goes for an Earthquake, doesn't do too much. This thing's bulky as hell. Um, and he goes for Shadow Force, so Gyro Ball is gonna miss. I go for another gyro ball. Uh, I'm gonna have to sacrifice uh, my skill this year. But now I go into my Arbok, which this is actually really cool because nobody sees it coming. Everyone thinks, oh, it's just a slow snake Pokemon, you can't do anything. And then his Rayquaza dies too. So Arbok pretty much just took down two Ubers. Actually, one AG pretty much. And then, um, so I go for a coil here just so that he can't really do anything. Look at how little Aqua Tail does. Arbok is a freaking beast, even outside FU. Then I go for another Sucker Punch, obviously it doesn't kill, uh, I should have uh, gone for another Coil. But he switches out, he goes into his own Arbok. And I go for a Sucker Punch, it fails, I should have gone for another Coil there. And he goes for a Glare, and I go for a Substitute. goes for Aqua Tail, and it just does damage, it doesn't even like, um, it doesn't even fade the substitute, so here I go for Sucker Punch, it's not gonna be enough, see, Arbok's hella bulky, so, um, I don't feel like risking it, and I get paralyzed, yeah, I definitely don't feel like risking it at this point, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have to switch out my Zygarde with the awesome math game, Algebra for the win, let's go! So, um, I set up Dragon Dance just to be sure. It goes for an Awkward Tail. It does a crit, and it only did that much. Uh, I go for Earthquake, and he dies of Stealth Rocks. So, that's going to be the game. And, uh, shout out to Denise Canlier, I think that's how you pr pronounce it, for helping me test out this team. And, this guy, uh, he was playing me with a UU team, and I actually helped him build it, uh, from Amino, and I've never won against him uh, when he used his UU team, except when I used my stake team. So, um, he, goes, he leads with Mamoswine, I lead with Steelix as usual. Uh, we both set up, set up rocks. Uh, he goes for an Earthquake, he actually does more than expected. Uh, I go for Gyro Ball, but he has the Sash. Uh, I don't know why he went for Ice Shard, he would have found some anyways. Uh, but Earthquake kills him there. He's gonna go into Beedrill, and I thought he was gonna use Protect, but he doesn't. So, I set up Sandstorm for no reason. Uh, yeah, he outpredicted me there, so he uh, kills me with the draw run. I have to uh, go into Zygarde to stall out the Sandstorm. But uh, he goes for U turn. And he goes into my loading, which obviously is gonna use Ice Beam. And that kinda sucks, so. I kind of just have to go for an Outrage and see how much I can do, but he's going to kill me with Ice Beam. And I go into my 
my superior. And I don't know why he does the switch, but I kill him with the leaf, leaf storm. And I get that special attack buff. If he goes into his arc nine, which is gonna be a problem. And my attack does rise, but that doesn't matter. I get the crit though, so um, if it wasn't for the crit, the outcome of the battle might have been different. Sucker Punch just to kill him off. Like seriously, Arbok OP. Nobody sees it coming. Okay, here's it. Here's where things get a little more interesting. Like he's gonna go for curse. Yeah, right now it's going like three, two, three, two. Yeah, and I go for the coil. He's gonna go for a wish because he thinks I'm gonna hit him. But I'm just gonna repeatedly set up because this thing is bulky as hell. No way I can take it down. Just a few coils. And the nice thing though is that I have the accuracy buff as well. So bump shot won't miss no matter what. Times two accuracy, it's already guaranteed to me. But I'm just gonna keep going for that defense and attack buff. And uh, you'll see later on when my substitute fades here right now. Like neither of our attacks do anything. Or actually that does quite a bit. But the foul play also does quite a bit, but it's not nearly enough to kill any of us. Um, I do get the poison though, so he is like severely like hampered by the status condition. Uh, he goes for a protect just for the wish protect. I predict that I go for the poison. And both of us are at like 60% ish. I go for gunk shot. He's gonna die off soon. Foul play leaves me with 3%. He has 4% left, and gunshots are kill him. And that's pretty much the game, because the last guy he has to take off. No way that can live with a gunshot. So, that was pretty nice. It shows just how awesome my favorite Pokemon can be, and that this snake team actually functions pretty well. I actually posted all the snake team stuff on Amino. So, uh, yeah, once again, be sure to get the app. It's awesome. Uh, it's like, everything is about Pokemon. Um, Pokemon Amino, it's like a new community where you're not left out, where people actually understand you. So, well, that does it for this video. Don't forget to Meteor Mash that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.